I took this photograph, and uh, a lot of people don't even know it's me. I think I, I, my face hurt for days because I was making these angry faces, and I just don't do it. But uh, it was just it was just other this other side, I guess. Not not the other side of me, but just the other side of like humanity. This is my uh, graduate studio space. Uh, I go where I keep all my stuff, and I have a lot of stuff. And I have a you can tell a large assortment of uh, interesting things. And I love when we have visiting uh, visiting artists. They come over here and they bend down and they look and they look they drool a little bit and they look at me and they're like, "You got good stuff." And I'm always like, "Thank you." I know. History for me in the material is a very big part of, of telling the story and my my kind of sculptural narrative. Uh, this is where I live. Um, it's a beautiful place. Uh, these are my children. Uh, my mother always had a garden. There'd always be like she wouldn't plant it, but this one giant sunflower that would come up, and it would get so heavy and tall that eventually it would sloop over. We had to get a stick and prop it up. I think it's just kind of like the monster of flowers. Uh, you know, it's just it's, I was trying to make something that was had uh, shared kind of your space, and I thought sunflower is basically the most sculptural. They're definitely in your space. Um, so the cradles are the first thing I'm going to focus on. Is I really like I really like this one. Here is 700 M16 rounds. In my mind, the bullet shells worked as a, as the seeds. I like the idea of like you know bullets fly. You know they get you shoot them all the world. But like one night one idea of the bullet like dropping and then growing up and 700 more bullets um, arise from that one. Um, so but. My, my kind of theme is uh, kind of military, industrial, and bloom. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to, I guess, kind of take a jab at some notions uh, using uh, some, like flowers, uh, idea of reproduction. Uh, you know, flowers produce all these seeds, uh, the idea of uh, mass production, and uh, but they do it in a very beautiful way. And of course, uh, you know, when we think of war, it's not so beautiful. So I'm, I'm just trying to not be so heavy-handed and not so uh, dogmatic and uh, so it's interesting to the viewer they might be interested by you know, who doesn't like flowers um, and flowers are of course soft and, and kind of sexy and these are going to be kind of hard and, and uh, just kind of turning the, the plow into the sword into a flower I'm not a functional artist by trade but I do try to think about the environment so at the opening show people can put their little hors d'oeuvres on the leaves here while they're looking in the yard, they can set their drink, you know, and then, you know, just eat their little cheese and crackers. When I make sculpture, and uh, it makes me feel strong, and, uh, and I feel like uh, I'm battling evil somehow. I work. I, I use about four different tools. I work like that, um, but probably about three hours. Yeah. Hey, did you realize that? What? The seeds of the sunflower are two seventy bullets. Do what? The seeds of the sunflower are two seventy bullets. Not in your own This is the way it's set up. What you know? I do. Yeah, this is just beautiful. Back up to me.